All right, and welcome back to GlobalWellTakeover.com. My name is Andrew Newman, and in this video, we're going to be going over how to install your squeeze page, your opt-in page, or your, your lead capture page, whatever you want to call it. We're going to show you how you're going to install that on your domain so that you can start collecting leads and 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 generally and making some sales with your with your funnel so uh, it's really simple here we are at our WordPress dashboard and in the previous video we showed you how to install a page now in this video we're going to do the same process except we're going to do a couple of different steps in 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 the uh, in the functionality so on the left hand side here of our WordPress dashboard we want to go ahead and click on the pages tab okay and what that's going to do is it's going to open up this page where you're going to be able to, to add a new page okay and the page that we're going to be adding here guys this is going to be a page that we're going to use uh, you can call it anything you want really I mean you can go get more info or whatever you want we're going to call this apply okay so what we'll do is we'll, we'll have our account our domain slash apply and that's what's going to bring people to our capture page um, so that we can collect the name and email address now very important step right here guys on the right hand side where it says template what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drop this menu down, select squeeze page, and that's it. Okay, once you've done that, you're ready to start building your capture page. We're going to leave this section of our page blank. Now, normally this is where our content would go, but we're not going to put it there for the purposes of this page. Okay, now our page headline, we're also going to leave this blank. We don't need that. What I'll do is want to roll down here to where it says squeeze page options. Now, the squeeze page type, you have several options in here. So if you click the drop down menu, you have six squeeze pages that are text-based squeeze pages meaning no video there's just images and text on that screen then we have video squeeze pages and there's seven options for video squeeze pages you can go through here and find the one that you like best now I've had a pretty good uh, conversion rate with text pages and I've also had a good conversion rate with video pages in fact my video pages are converting a lot higher and statistically video converts at 52 percent higher than text so we want to make sure if we can use a video to do that so I'm going to choose video squeeze page three okay and when you've chosen your squeeze page you're gonna get a preview of what that page is gonna look like right here and as you can see we have a video box and we have an opt-in box right below that we're gonna be asking for a name and an email address on the right side we have a couple of different fields here and then we have some text at the top so we're gonna put this content in here to get people enticed to exchange their name and email address for a free video okay so we have our warning text this is gonna be the text at the top of the screen there our warning text is gonna say something like this offer will be taken down very soon without notice okay our top header we're gonna do this in quotes join thousands of people just like you all over the globe earning quiet fortunes from home Okay. Now, guys, you can put anything that you want in here, and I'm going to go through, I'm going to capitalize all my first letters, I don't know why, I'm just going to do it, because that's the way we're, we're, we're working here today. Um, you can put any text in here that you want. Now, keep yourself an open mind, be original, because the point here, guys, is, I mean, we can go out and we can get generic sales funnels, and we can use all the stuff that everybody else is using to promote their business, but we don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to make sure that we separate ourselves from the other marketers. And the best way to do that is by customizing our entire system. Okay, And that's what we're going to be walking you guys through here today. This might be a little bit advanced for a lot of you, and that's okay. But if you walk through these steps, you're going to be able to understand the process, how everything's going to work. And, and you're, you'll really be able to wrap your mind around it by the time we're done with the course. Now, our subheader... I'm going to go ahead and, and, and throw some information in here that we're going to want to use to kind of, you know, take home our joining thousands of people. I'm going to put no credit card required. Okay, that's going to give them a sense of, of a peace of mind that knowing that we're not going to try to sell them something. While, yes, we have something for them to buy, we're not going to try to sell it to them, and they don't really need a credit card to make this work. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on down. Here's the top header. Now, this particular uh, f uh, page, this, this video squeeze page, the header is actually going to be right underneath it. So we want to keep that in mind when we're typing our text in this one. I'm going to say, enter your details.
above. Okay, I'm going to center this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font a little bit better to heading two. Enter your details above. Now this part here, guys, this is going to be very, very important for you. We have type. This is going to be our autoresponder. Now this particular theme actually comes pre-populated uh, with, with several choices of autoresponder. Okay, as you can see, the AWeber, GetResponse, all the, the popular autoresponders are in here. And if you're following our system the way that we've been showing you from start to finish, you've already got a GVO autoresponder. And what you're going to do then is you're just going to cruise on down here and click that GVO right there. All right. Then what we need to do is we need to get our code, our opt-in code. We need to tell the page when a person gives us their name and email address to put that information on our, our um, email list with GVO so that we can continue to follow up with those people. So I need to go over here to GVO and here I am. My GVO account is going to look a little bit different than yours because I have a host and profit titanium account which you will learn about later on in a future video. Um, but for all intents and purposes you have the exact same um, options as I do here with my autoresponder. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a form. We need to create the fields for the, 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 the theme to be able to give us our information. So as you can see here, we have our campaigns, our messages, our subscribers, and our forms right here at the top. I'm going to go ahead and open up my forms tab. And that's going to bring up a list of forms that I have already created. And as you can see, I have three forms here. I'm going to go ahead and delete my demo form uh, so that we can walk through the process of actually creating that form and installing it on your theme just like you're going to do when you're going through this process. So now that it's gone, we're going to go ahead. We have three options here under our forms tab. We can do a forms list, which is what this is. We can create a form or we can use the form wizard. What we're going to use is we're going to create a form because we're already creating the page so we just need to have the form uh, code. Right here we have our form name. You're going to want to identify this particular form as, as a form that you're using for whatever reason you're using it for. So if you're using it for your sales funnel, you put DSD, DS Domination, DS Domination Sales Funnel, whatever you want to put there, just so you can identify it. Now I have two forms that I use. I use one with a name and an email address and one that just collects an email address. So I use email only. So I have DSD email only and DS Domination. So if I'm going to use a, a capture page that only wants to collect their email address, I will use the form code that I created for the only the email opt-in. Now, don't worry if that makes any sense. That doesn't really matter. The thank you page here, guys, this is going to be very, very important. Um, you can you can have this set up to where it just goes to an English mail thank you page. It's going to look like this after they give you their name and email address. It's going to go in there, and this is what they're going to see. Okay. Um, we don't want that. What we want to do is we want to direct them over to our landing page, our sales page, so they can watch the DS Domination video. How we're going to do that is just going to click on the drop-down menu, slide all the way down here to custom URL and you're gonna have a an option to put a web address in here so we're gonna go ahead and do that okay just like that and all we have an already subscribed thank you page this means if a person goes back to our capture page they put their name and email address again we don't want that person going back onto our list and going through our, our email sequence all over again do we we want that person to go back to where they wanted to go in the first place so when they put their their information in it's going to take them on over to the exact same page our home page that we created in the previous video so that that's our sales page and we're ready to go ad tracking guys don't worry about that this right here the purpose of this video we'll talk about that in another video pass form data again you're not going to worry about that double opt-in make sure that you check this box to off okay and we're doing this for a reason later on down the road through our campaigns we're going to have we're going to filter and we're going to narrow down our list we're going to comb it if you will and we're going to have people opting into our forms with their names um, with their email addresses with their phone numbers so that we can actually build a relationship and a rapport with those people so for the purposes of this video we're not going to have double opt-in we're just going to collect as many leads as we can and we're going to filter through those to find the real serious people who are interested in working with us so what we want to do down here in the main fields okay make sure that's checked off so it's only a single opt-in is you have a couple of radio buttons here on the side and we're going to be collecting a name and an email address so what we want to do is make sure that this box is checked which it should be by default and we want to make sure that we're collecting an email address. This button right here, the submit button, doesn't really matter. All you're going to do is click this create button as soon as you've finished that. Now what's going to happen is it's going to create that form for you and you're going to be able to get the code right here on your form list 
page. Okay, just give it a moment to catch up with us. Uh, I've got a lot of bandwidth usage going on right now <laughs> with the video and all that wonderful stuff. But um, basically, that's it, guys, is you're just going to be able to do that. Now, as you can see, my DSD demo account has been put right here. Okay. <clears throat> now, on the right side, we have an actions tab. We have a little pencil that's going to let us edit that particular form. We have a little little preview. It's going to let us see what it's going to look like if we were to just copy and paste the the the, I, the code and put it onto our website. Um, what we want to do is we want to use this middle one right here. It looks like a little piece of paper in between the, the magnifying glass and the Facebook. So just go ahead and click on that. And it's going to open a new window that's going to allow you to copy your form code. And this is the code that we need. Okay, So we'll go ahead and copy that delete that or just close out that window and then we can come back over here to where our code goes in. So our opt-in settings, make sure we have GVO selected for our autoresponder and we're just going to go ahead and paste that code right there. Okay. Now what that's going to do is that's going to tell the page, the theme, that when the person gives us the name and email address to populate that and start sending them our email follow-up sequence. Now our button, we're going to be talking about watching a video so we have a couple of options what our buttons can say and you can make yours say whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Click watch the video. Privacy text, don't worry. This is just going to make people feel a little warm and fuzzy about giving you their information. Don't worry, we hate spam too. Footer menu, for the purposes of this video, we're going to leave that alone. Our video, this is pretty important because we're using a video squeeze page. So we need a video to put here. Now you can put any MP4 based video, a YouTube video. Um, if you're in GVO and you have the Titanium Host and Profit account, you have unlimited video hosting with that. And that's what I'm personally going to use is my video hosting with GVO. So what I need to do is I need to come into my GVO account and I need to come down to my video producer right here. Now I took the liberty before creating the video of recording my opt-in um, um, video for that page. And we're just going to click on the My Videos tab right here at the top and it's going to bring up a list of all the videos that we have created. And this is the video I did this morning right before creating this video uh, this video to show you how to do this so that we could get access to our, our form. Once you've put your video in, um, if you're using GBO, you're simply going to come over here to the right hand side. You have a couple of options uh, that are going to allow you to use different web addresses for this particular video. We can use the FLV, which is a direct line to the video. We can use the MP4, which is the one we're going to want. Or we have the option of embedding this onto our website using the HTML code right here. Uh, we'll get into, again guys, we're going to get into more videos, more details about all these little options for you. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to use the MP4. So we're going to go ahead and highlight that, right click and copy it, come back over to our theme, press paste right into the video URL and if we want a thumbnail we could do that just upload a picture and what that's going to be is it's going to be a, a, a picture in the video box when a person's not actually watching our video. Uh, this particular video is about a minute long so we don't need to worry about it. Um, testimonials guys this is going to show up. I'm not going to put anything in here for now. I'm going to show you what this actually looks like on the page uh, before we enter some data in here so you can see exactly what that's all about with this particular uh, page template. So after that we are are done. I'm going to double check, make sure everything's okay. We have our title, which is apply. We have our template set to squeeze page. We have no content in these two boxes. We have our squeeze page type selected. We have our content for our squeeze page already created. We have our code from our autoresponder. We have our video that we're going to place on there. And then we simply just go up to the top here and click publish. And that's it, guys. Once that's published, we're going to be able to send our visitors to that and collect leads. So that's that's actually really exciting. We're going to click view the page. We want to make sure it's going to work <clears throat> the way that we want it to work anyways. And we can get started with our marketing. Okay, so now as you can see, it's loading up. Warning, this information will be, be taken down without notice. Join thousands of people just like you all over the globe. Hey, you're from Andrew home. Newman and here is the video that I just put on the page. Here is our opt-in box. Enter your details above. Don't worry, we hate spam too. Now notice right here on the right, this is kind of empty, right? This looks kind of kind of barren, like there should be something there, but there's not. How we're going to do that, just simply go back into our, our WordPress dashboard, and, and that's the actual testimonial section. That's these two boxes. So what we want to do is we want to get some real testimonials. So I'm actually going to go over here to globalwealthtakeover.com, and I'm going to go to my testimonials page on this site, grab a testimonial, throw it in that box, 
um, and we're going to show you what that actually looks like here in just a moment. So as you can see, um, I've actually been promoting and getting some people to come to the page here and add their own testimonials as far as what they've experienced with DS Domination. So I'm going to take this, I'm just going to copy this testimonial right from my my uh, my other website that I've been building for my purposes and I'm going to paste that right in there. We're going to go ahead, since this is Janelle, we're going to put her URL in here. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll just go up to the top. You guys can see what this looks like. Click the update button. That's updated. Come back over here to, uh, whoops, come back over here to our page. Just click the view page button and you're going to see what that looks like. Now, do you see how the content got hey, filled folks, in right there? Andrew Newman. And you're going to be able to have a, a, a testimonial right here on your lead capture page. So that's it, guys. Uh, this is how you create a capture page for your website. Um, I hope this helps. And, and go out there, be profitable, and let's rock this thing out. I'll see you in the next video where we're going to go over how to string together your, your website and make it a sales funnel. Okay, this is Andrew Newman signing out. Have a great day. We'll see you later.